How to build your Canadian Timber Granby Cabin Sauna. Please ensure you have the following items. Make sure you have a sturdy and level platform to build your sauna on. Something like this is not recommended for long-term placement of your sauna. Place your starter staves. Begin placing your base staves. Secure to the starter stave with three two and a half inch screws into each base stave. Continue placing your base staves. Ensure they are aligned with the marks on the starter staves. Secure every base stave to the starter staves with three two and a half inch screws into each end of the base staves. Place the stave labeled floor starter onto the front of your sauna and secure with 10 2 and a half inch screws into the base staves. Begin placing the rest of the floor staves. Ensure the tongues are tight into the grooves and secure each with six two and a half inch screws into the base staves. Fasten the double base staves together with three two and a half inch screws on each side. Continue placing the rest of the floor staves. Ensure the tongues are tied into the grooves and secure each with six two and a half inch screws into the base staves. Place the thin wall stave labeled door onto the front of the sauna. Place the other thin wall stave onto the back of the sauna. Place a wall stave across the front and back wall staves. Use the provided hit block to slide the notches together. Repeat on the other side. Use a 5 inch screw in each notch to fasten the wall staves together. Place a wall stave onto the rear of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure with two 5 inch screws. Place two short wall staves onto the front of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure each with a 5 inch screw. Place a wall stave onto the side of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure with two 5 inch screws.
If you notice a gap in the middle of the wall staves, you may need to put another 5 inch screw into the middle of the wall stave to close the gap. Place a wall stave onto the other side of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure with two or three 5 inch screws. Place a wall stave onto the back side of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure with two or three 5 inch screws. Place two short wall staves onto the front of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure each with a 5 inch screw. Place a wall stave on each side of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure each with two or three 5 inch screws. Place two short wall staves onto the front of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure each with a 5 inch screw. Now slide the door between the front wall staves. Continue placing all the wall staves in the same pattern as before. When you reach the top of the door, use the wall stave labeled Door. Slide the notches together and secure with two or three 5 inch screws. Now place the wall staves with the angled edge on either side of the sauna. Ensure the angles are sloped down towards the outside of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure each with two or three 5 inch screws. Now place the triangle wall pieces onto the front and back of the sauna. Slide the notches together and secure each with two 5 inch screws into the pre-drilled holes. Slide the center roof support beam into the notch on the triangle wall pieces. Secure it with four 3 inch screws.
Now fasten the bottom wall staves to the floor staves with 12 2 2.5 inch screws, three per side. Now slide the bottom roof piece onto the triangle wall pieces and secure with two 3 inch screws. Begin placing the roof staves. Ensure the tongue is tight into the groove and secure each to the triangle wall pieces with two 3 inch screws. If you notice a gap in the middle of the roof staves, you may need to put a 5 inch screw into the middle of the roof stave to close the gap. Continue placing the roof staves. Ensure the tongue is tight into the groove and secure each to the triangle wall pieces with two 3 inch screws. Use the thinner roof stave to finish the first side of the roof. Secure with two 3 inch screws into the triangle wall pieces and five 3 inch screws into the center beam. Repeat the process on the other side. Now go back and insert five more 3 inch screws into each bottom roof piece to secure them to the side walls. Now install the front trim pieces. Ensure they are flush and secure to the roof staves with three 2.5 inch screws. Repeat the process with the back trim pieces. Now place a metal trim piece onto the side of the roof and secure with six black screws. Repeat on the other side. Place the metal trim pieces onto the front of the roof and secure each with six black screws.
Repeat on the back of the roof. Place the first full-length metal shingle and secure with four self-sealing roofing screws. Place a full-length and a half-length metal shingle. Secure with six self-sealing roofing screws. Place a half-length and two full-length metal shingles. Secure with ten self-sealing roofing screws. Place a thin half-length and two thin full-length metal shingles. Secure with ten self-sealing roofing screws. Repeat the process on the other side. Now peel the film off the adhesive backing of the ridge cap seal and stick it to either side of the ridge cap. Place the ridge cap over the peak of the sauna and secure with 10 self-sealing roofing screws.
place the outer door handle at the desired height. Ensure it is centered and secure with two two inch screws. Place the inner door handle at desired height. Ensure it is centered and level and secure with two two inch screws. Now use six three inch screws to secure the door frame to the wall staves. Place one of the bench legs inside the sauna against the back of the sidewall. Mark the top of the leg. To reduce the risk of wood splitting, you may want to pre-drill three 1 8 mounting holes into the bench supports. Place the bench supports onto the marks and secure each with three 2 inch screws. Repeat the process on the other side. Now place the top bench seat onto the bench supports and secure with four two inch screws. Place the bench legs under the bench. Ensure they are 20 inches away from the sidewalls and secure each with seven two inch screws. Place the bottom bench seat onto the bench supports and secure with eight two inch screws. Now stick the guide sticker onto the stove. Center the stove mounting template on the wall. Ensure the outer B marks are 23 inches up and insert the stove mounting screws on the mark. Remove the template and place the stove on the screws. Now place a vent guard below the stove and mark the positions for two vent holes. Drill out with a two inch hole saw. Only go halfway through to prevent splintering. 
Continue drilling from the other side. Install the vent guard with the six provided screws. Repeat the process on the back of the sauna. Install the vent board on the back wall of the sauna. Secure with a one and a half inch screw. Install the optional sand timer in your desired location. Secure with two one and a half inch screws. Install the optional thermo hydrometer in your desired location. Secure with a one and a half inch screw. Install the optional sign in your desired location. Secure with two one and a half inch screws. Place the optional backrests and bucket and ladle. Your assembly is now complete.